All right, hey everybody, Paul and Harry here. We are in Northern California uh, right now at a real big moment as, as y'all can see. This is the, this is the release of uh, West Coast number five replica that I raised back in 1991. And this is for my very good friend in Australia, Matt Manning. He uh, lives in Melbourne, so kind of kind of thought I'd give, give a little background on how this, this whole thing started. And the main reason that I'm here today is because of friendship. And it's true. And I'll tell you how I met, met Matt Manning. In, in 89, I went to Australia to defend uh, the Australian Championship. And I was, I was riding for Grant Kramer, and he had this little squirrely dude running around the shop, but you know, he had a big smile, and he was real enthusiastic, and, and his name was Matt, and uh, he, he helped us get the boats to the water, and he was just a good bloke. Uh, well, I suffered a, a, a terrible injury. I, um, I landed on my head in a freestyle routine, and I, I broke my neck, and I mean, I broke it bad. It was, I was in bad shape. So what had happened was I couldn't fly. The, the doctors wouldn't let me fly home to the United States, so I had to go back to Melbourne and rest for a week or so. Um, well, what happens then is everybody else, everybody had to go to work. They had to proceed with their life. And there I was, I, I was stuck at Grant's house and there I am with his neck brace. And I, I was basically alone during the day. And th this guy would come over on his lunch break and, and he, would, he would make sandwiches and he'd make sure that I had everything that I needed. Um, while Grant and them were out, you know, at, at work. And that really spoke volumes, you know, for, you know, who does that for somebody. You know, so we, we struck up a friendship right then. And we're going over 30, 32, 33 years, we're, we're still tight mates. And let me tell you something, you know, life, life doesn't always, always hand you uh, a, a bunch of great apples, you know, I mean, Matt's been with me through through all the good times in jet skiing. He would come to the States for a couple weeks at a time, and he was part of my, my crew and my mama. He loved my mama, and my mama loved him. And he, he was just a great guy, you know. So after jet skiing, I got into life like everybody else, and there's ups and downs, you know, and some of the times were good, and some of them weren't so good. But I tell you what, every time I've, I called this guy, he was, he was one of my mates I can always, always call, and he'd have a good ear, you know, to land. And, and, and friendships like that, you know, they don't come around. So Matt and I are still still mates. He's in Australia right now. And he decided, because he's got a passion for stand-ups, that he wanted to do a West Coast build. And, you know, he asked me about it. And I said, well, you know, not like you need my permission. But, you know, have at it. But, you know, what are you going to do? You know, how are you going to go about it? Because in Australia, the market really isn't big like it is here. You know, here it's rampant. So... What he had done first was he contacted uh, Tim Tynan, who's a renowned motor builder, he still is, and he got with Tim and they started rounding up uh, cylinders and parts and got everything together. But, you know, I'm just guessing that, you know, Tim's so busy that he did the motor work, but then they contacted uh, Ricky Ellington, who we're here at Ricky's house right now. And you want to talk about something, this guy did everything special. It's been a long time coming and this is a complete beautiful look at this thing replica of the boat and I, I, I'm about to warn everybody right now y'all better be sitting down because I'm about to call Ricky over he's gonna give you a little insight as to you know uh, what he was up against when he did this but the outside looks just like my race boats the inside nothing my boats were not this pretty on the inside this is this is bling bling to its max, and th this guy has put his put his heart and soul in, into this boat, and we're they're going to take it to the world finals, and we're going to show it off to the world because this thing is a uh, this thing's beautiful. It's a one of a kind, and and um, we're going to see a lot of pictures of the boat, and then we're going to ship it to Melbourne, Australia, and Matt's gonna he's going to try to ride stand ups. He thinks he could ride stand ups. He ain't ride no stand ups. <laughs> But he's, he's going to have a badass boat to, to, to try to look good on. So um, I'd like to call in Ricky. Rick, come on over. Ricky right. did a hell of a job on this boat. Thanks, Appreciate I'd like you to come on in and tell a lot of, some of the people that, you know, what you're up against. Uh, well, 
Matt kind of messaged me on Facebook and uh, ended up telling me a story about you know his, his and Harry's relationship and and I was uh, I dug it. It was cool, you know. So I offered to help and uh, I had a few things in my garage to get started with and and I knew where to get the rest of the parts. So I think in about two to three weeks I had uh, you know the bare bones and, and wow. uh, the gist to start the project. You know? Where did you get all the old West Coast parts? Um, so the cylinder actually, I had bought in, uh, from someone on Facebook when uh -huh. I was in my garage for a few months, never ended up using it, wow. you know, projects fell through, I ended up selling it to a guy in Florida, uh -huh. and as soon as Matt, you know, kind of gave me the green light to start the project, uh -huh. uh, I gave him a ring and he sold it right back to me. Wow, so, how about I mean, that? That's, that's the heart of the build is wow. the West Coast cylinder, you know, um, and I knew a few other guys that had a lot of the parts that... Cause these, we're kind of going to make it these these vintage West parts Coast man they're, they're a hot commodity right oh, now yeah. it's like you can't yeah. even get your hands yeah. on them and then to get blue west coast pipe blue west coast head, everything is west coast i don't know that there's anything that's not west coast that they offered there's even stuff on it that west coast never did made i mean whoa the, the front fuel cover that's you know that was a one-off part i had made mark Conchak made that with the West Coast logo. And you know, and I, I would like to jump in there real quick, guys, because Matt, yeah, thanks, Corey. Come in here and get that. See, this part right here, Ricky went above and beyond the call of duty there. You know, they had the cap, but he went and had that done. Uh, laser printed, laser, laser cut, so or whatever. all CNC machine. All yeah. CNC. You know, I never had that on my race boat, so you want to talk about a bling bling deal. There's another one off piece. I don't know if you go ahead, Go ahead around the back, Corey. But this is also another one off um yeah he showed me that yeah tell know. him about that ricky so mark Konchak made this piece as well um he used the same file for the west coast logo oh. and it was actually his idea to do the white with the you know machine finish and it really turned out it turned out good you know it's just a little extra it is a little extra you know they didn't make it but uh it, it, uh, it yeah, really but this, adds to it but this is know? a special yeah. boat you know yeah. so let me go around here and lift this up and let's show Oh no. You I you gotta do the honors. You gotta <laughs> okay. do the honors, oh boy. Okay. What do they call it? The jewel box? Is yeah, that buddy. Dun da da yeah. Well, goodness gracious. Joe, show them around, Ricky. Tell them so, everything. So um yeah, it's a West Coast uh, RC five twenty cylinder. Um uh, Tynan did the kind of the port cleanup on it. Um he added the Holland Harry number five engraving on the front of the cylinder. That's a pretty cool touch. Um, so yeah, the head was actually a new old stock part. I think it came from Doug Maddox, I, I wanna say. Okay. Um, yeah, West Coast exhaust, West Coast intake manifold. I did a newer style carb on here. Just kinda that. keep it, you know, if he wants to tune a little bit, it's yeah. a little easier. Now, and we, Rick, let me get out of this. So we also had talked about the ignition because yeah. Matt kept telling me on the phone, oh mate, we're gonna have a total loss ignition mine. No, and I'm like, wait a second, those total losses back in the day, they worked, but we had to charge him every night. He's a wreck rider. Yeah, so I, I kind of knew I kind of knew what he was gonna do with it, and, and I he was really ambitious with total loss, and I, said, I knew it would be. I don't think you wanna mess with Good. it, you know? So we just get a light and flywheel stock ignition system. So that um, way, it's gonna be a charging system. Charging system, he won't have to mess with anything, and mm -hmm. he can just ride it and have fun. You know, he doesn't have to worry about bringing spare batteries that are charged. Or Boy, those were the days, Yeah, huh? you know, so. You so know, yeah. and, 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 and that's the thing, you know, at our age now, and at Matt's age now, yeah. when we go to the water and we're gonna ride, that's what we wanna do these days, is go enjoy the sport. Yeah. You don't wanna just spend your whole time tweaking and tuning. Yeah. So whatever you buy out there, now make sure you're gonna have a good time. Yeah. You're not gonna wrench on it. Because if he would have had that ignition system, he would have had trouble. Oh yeah, he would have had to work on it more than he wanted to. So we did the wires. It kind of adds like you know the old school touch. It's kind of the theme they went with the ultra wires. So Nolan Glock put those on there. Um, the stock coil, and it just kind of adds a little. It look. It, it looks, has that you know that well that race look now, that now, total loss. Now look, look I didn't. Not, you know, I didn't plan on. Let saying, me tell you, it was hard to get those wires well, on there. Well, let me let me tell you something. Not a lot of people know. <laughs> those what those red wires were synonymous for PJS boots. Oh. They were synonymous with PJS boats, and all we ever saw of PJS boats was from afar. And all I saw were red wires, red <laughs> wires. And, and one and one of my and one of my race boats, and it might have been this one. Yeah. 
uh, they added all, I said, man, but I want red wires. Oh, okay. And they're like, why? <laughs> and I'm like, just put them on there. Just put them on there. Please. But those were synonymous for the PJS boats, but I like the way it came yeah, in. Yeah, there was the an lid. original boat, and, uh, and it had the had the wires on there, so I was like, all right, we're going to do Well, that's wires. why they had them on there, because yeah. I asked Because you asked uh, Yeah, I was yeah. too busy with Jeff yeah. Jacobs whipping my butt all weekend. Yeah. I want to at least have the wires that he had. Yeah, maybe that was his edge. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you were right. The red wires. I, I wish you were right. So I tell you what, yeah. so right now, um, we're going to start this rascal up. And guys, ladies and gentlemen, the response on this throttle makes me want to go ride right now. It does. So Ricky have. You can't handle this boat. Well, we're real, real stoked that you're gonna have this thing. And he asked me to do a little signature for him somewhere. But Ricky, what did what did we? He just said under the hood, you know, just in case you mess up, the world. I will see, mess up. I think. <laughs> I'm gonna. This is. A That's where I'm looking to. Spot, you know. But I gotta have my elbow right. And there she be. Let me just add something to my boy, Matt. To my man, Matt. All right. Well, I'll just close real quick and saying it couldn't go to a better person. Matt's a great man. He's a good father and a good husband and all that. And he, he's got, he's very enthusiastic about old school jet skiing. And he is going to ride this thing proudly. And everybody that was involved in this build, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Matt, Matt's a good person. And uh, we've all done a good thing. And we can't wait to bring this thing, get this on Facebook and show the world. It's been a long time coming. So thank you so much. Have a great day.